Can I welcome everyone to the 29th meeting in 2018 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, agenda item one is uh, uh, to propose the committee takes items five, six, seven, eight, and nine in private. These are consideration of delegated powers provisions in bills and in legislative consent memorandums relating to UK bills. Does the committee agree to take these items in private? Okay. Uh, agenda item two consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. Um, so we've got the draft first tier tribunal for Scotland social security chamber and upper tribunal for Scotland composition regulations 2018. Um, they provide for the composition of the social security chamber of the first tier tribunal for Scotland when dealing with appeals under certain provisions of the social security Scotland act 2018. The committee may wish to draw the instrument to the attention of Parliament on reporting ground E, as there appears to be a doubt whether Regulation 5 is intra viris, Spe specifically whether Regulation 5 complies with Section 40 of the Tribunal Scotland Act 2014, which sets out the rules relating to whether members of the upper tribunal should be ordinary legal or judicial members. Um, does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of Parliament on reporting ground E? Okay. Um, does the committee consider that the provisions should be corrected to remove doubt uh, as to their compliance with section 40 by means of the Scottish Government withdrawing and relaying the draft instrument? Yeah. Okay. No points have been raised on the draft first tier tribunal for Scotland allocation of functions to the Social Security Chamber Regulations 2018 and the draft first tier tribunal for Scotland Chambers Amendment Regulations 2018. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Gender item three is consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure. Uh, the first tier tribunal for Scotland Social Security Chamber Procedure Regulations 2018 SSI 2018-273. <coughs> this instrument establishes a new chamber of the First Tier Tribunal for Scotland to consider appeals in relation to social security cases in the Scottish system. There are a couple of reporting grounds on which the committee may wish to draw the instruments to the attention of the Parliament. Firstly, on reporting ground H, on the basis that the meaning of Rule 93A in the schedule could be clearer. And secondly, on the re general reporting ground in respect to drafting errors in R Rule 22.4G and Rules 35, 5 and 7 in the schedule. The Scotch Government has indicated that we'll will correct these errors by amending instrument. Does the committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground H and on the general reporting ground. Okay. And does the committee wish to welcome the Scottish Government's commitment to lay an amending instrument to correct these errors? Okay. Uh, no points have been raised on SSI's uh, 274 to 276, 279 to 281, 283 and 284. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Agenda item four, consideration of instruments uh, not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI uh, 282. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Okay, uh, I'll move the meeting into private session.